Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to detect pinch gesture on touch screens and mouse scroll using the new input system. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to create a new script for pinch scroll detection, if you will. And we're going to wait for it to compile. All right, so we're gonna um, need to have it attached on a game object. Doesn't matter what game object, I'm just gonna attach it to my uh, main camera. All right, so in here, we don't really need the uh, update method and we're gonna be using Unity Engine dot input system. And we're going to need input actions for the mouse scroll and the touch. And you can have them in an input action map assets, or you can have them here and uh, add their bindings uh, from the inspector, or you can uh, code it all yourself. So we're going to do that for, you know, it's for the sake of simplicity. So we, we're going to have a scroll action. And this is going to be a new input action. And here we're going to give it the binding. And uh, make sure to uh, specify which uh, parameter you're passing to the constructor. Because the first one is the name. And uh, you probably don't want to give it a name. Anyway, so the binding is the path to its binding. So... For this one, it's mouse um, slash scroll. Anyway, let's uh, enable it. So we're going to enable it and then we're going to uh, subscribe to uh, its performed event. And we actually going to need the callback context. We're going to read the value of um, scrolling. And the way we do that is read value. And it's a vector too. But in most cases, uh, mouses only have one vertical scroll. And that's going to be Y. So let's um, create a method for uh, zooming in the camera. So. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to define it here, but you should definitely uh, create this method in a script that is more related to camera. And all this method is doing is uh, changing the camera's field of view uh, by adding the increment to it. Since we also want to clamp it, let's set it equal to math function dot clamp, and we're going to clamp this between twenty and sixty. All right, so now we're going to call this camera zoom with our uh scroll value and we can also give it a speed so let's create a float speed and give it a 0.01 for its default value and we're going to multiply it by speed and I just misspelled that all right so this is for our mouse scroll and we can test it out. Uh, actually, um, I also want to show you how to uh, see the path to a binding if you don't know it. So uh, one way you can do it is create an input action. Uh, we can call it test. And you can add the binding in the uh, inspector and uh, you can see its binding path by doing test dot bindings and get the first binding or anyone and uh, print its path so let's test it 
all right so for example i want to know the path for the touch screen um touch one uh position all right let's play and the path to that is touch screen slash touch zero slash position and our scroll zoom is also working perfect all right so we don't need this that was just to show you how to uh, find the path to bindings we're gonna need uh, touches so I'm gonna have a touch zero position and this is going to be uh, an input action and for its type we're gonna give it an input action type of value we only want the value of the touch position and for its bindings uh, we want to give it touch screen slash touch zero slash position and let's enable this touch zero position dot enable and we're going to copy this for the second touch we're just going to rename it to touch one touch one and touch one all right so whenever we have touch one performed that means that uh we have two fingers on the screen so we're going to uh start detecting a pinch gesture in here and the way we do that is by comparing the uh, fingers uh, distance from now and the previous frame so we're gonna have a uh, uh, length or magnitude the distance between uh, the fingers and that is going to be the touch zero position dot read value vector two minus touch one position dot read value vector two and this gives us a vector going from uh, the second touch to the first touch we don't care about that we only want to know the length of it so we're going to get the magnitude and we need to store the previous magnitude so let's have a float previous magnitude and here we're going to uh, find out the difference by by subtracting the previous magnitude from the current magnitude but in the first frame, the previous magnitude is going to be zero. So its difference is going to be how long the distance between the fingers are. And we don't want it to be that. So we're going to check if uh, previous magnitude is zero. Then we're going to say uh, previous magnitude is uh, the current magnitude and therefore uh, there is no difference in the first frame of touching. All right, so after we calculated the difference, we want to set the previous magnitude to the current magnitude. And then we're going to call the camera zoom uh, with the difference multiplied by our speed. All right, so this will work, but um, it's going to be really weird because uh, we have the previous magnitude from the last time we did a pinch gesture so we kind of want to reset this previous magnitude when we stop touching the screen and we also want to make sure that there are two fingers touching the screen when we are uh, detecting the pinch so before we do this we want to check for uh, touch contact so touch zero contact and this one is going to um, work like a button
And the binding is going to be touch screen slash touch zero slash press. And we're going to enable it. And let's copy it for the second touch as well. We're going to rename it to touch one contact, touch one, touch one. All right, so to uh, to make sure there are two fingers on the screen, uh, we want to keep track of the touch count. So we're gonna have an int touch count. Here, when touch contacts are performed, that's when we uh, know there is a new touch on the screen. So we're going to say uh, touch count uh, plus plus. And then we want to uh, decrease them uh, when uh, we stop having that touch on the screen. So when touch contact is canceled, we're going to uh, say touch count minus minus. We also want to uh, set our previ previous magnitude to zero. So touch count minus minus and previous magnitude is zero. And now let's copy this. And down here, we want to say if uh, touch count is less than two, then we want to uh, return and don't do anything. All right, let's save this and test it out. All right, since I don't have a touch screen, um, I'm going to save this scene and uh, build it to my phone and we're gonna test it there. After I built this, I realized that pinching in and out is swapped. So um, you kind of want to uh, put a minus here to make it go the other way around and that will fix it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, you can download the uh, code from the description box and uh, make sure to like, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.